Alrighty, gents. So, due to the lovely thing of COVID and homeschooling and all that fun jazz, this is what we got going on today. I got a couple helpers that are going to be helping me change this closet area right behind me, right there, into a workable student learning area. Stick with me. We'll figure it out together. No way near a master at this. Very much a novice. But there's only a couple ways to learn in life. So, well, let's get things going. See, here's some of the helpers. And there's Olivia, my lovely daughter. First, we are cleaning everything out of that closet so we could build the desk. Alrighty, there goes the end of it. Now, we got some cleaning to do. Yeah, look at all that niceness. Get this cleaned up. I'm going to start mocking up the table. Alright guys, we're going to end up reusing those tables. You saw them last in those corners over there. Don't mind my horse or my dog. But, that being said, always reuse, try to save money so you can buy more tools. And make your wife happy. Always make sure your wife is happy. There you go. It's all stained up. Ready to go. So I have two twin boys. One's going to end up sitting here. One's going to sit on that side. I made a couple mistakes. And well, if you want to learn from them, that's cool too. Right on over here. Yep, that's nice and ugly. Scooting back, I pre-cut this first bitch and then realized that the whole closet's not square. This whole back wall back here ropes towards yourself or towards me at least towards the camera so i ended up building the bottom piece this i ended up building this next section all right here individually which i should have done to begin with so all in all it cost about 80 bucks for this for this table and my daughter's i'll show you hers this is the reason why it cost the, the hundred dollars on the top always work in your price with extra tools especially if you're doing it for your wife Let's go and uh, meander on over to my daughter's room. She saw the table. She really liked the table. So, she built this on her own. Yep, you can see my Santa down there. She's still going to be having fun. She loves that little tool. This has just got two legs. Real easy. It's anchored to the wall. And, of course, use your stud finder after you use it on yourself. And make sure you don't hit your electrical. Alright, you guys. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. And yeah, we'll see how good I can do this video on YouTube. Alright, guys. Like I said before, I'm new at carpentry. I'm new at YouTube. I'm in my daughter's room. That's not my crazy lighting. That's all on her. Um, thanks for crying. Thanks for hurting yourself. I sure did. Both. Thanks for sticking into the end. We'll keep trying to do these and let's become famous together. Later.